for retailers. People are heading to stores to make returns and exchanges. And tonight's top story, News 10's Abby Kirk is live outside of JCPenney's in Terre Haute. She explains how you can avoid the chaos. Rondrell, lots of stores here at the Honey Creek Mall were extremely busy today. Lots of people making returns and exchanges. Get this, nearly $90 billion of holiday purchases will be returned this year. Yes, it is in the back. It's the day after Christmas. A shirt, it was the wrong size. <laughs> Then retailers here at JCPenney's are yeah. geared up. A lot of exchanges, a lot of people without receipts. People made their way to the checkout line. Just exchanging in an item I'd purchased. The gifts under the tree are making their way back to the shelves. It didn't fit, so I came back over to get a size bigger. And the shopping isn't over yet. Lots of low prices still reel customers in. The deal of the century. Retail sales during the holiday season grew from 5% from last year. Shoppers continue to roam the stores to get the most bang for their buck. Victoria's Secret, Charlotte Roots, and I think that's all I'll do in the mall. According to experts, these people are doing it right. They say the sooner you return it, the better. It's predicted that 58% of holiday shoppers will make a return and or exchange unwanted gifts. A lot uh, <laughs> compared to a regular day-to-day -day basis. Now, before you make your returns, there are a few things you want to keep in mind. First, make sure your gift is still intact. Make sure it's not open. Uh, also, bring a receipt and uh, look up the return policies. Some of them differ from place to place. Also, I did hear about this cool app. It's called Shop Savvy. If you do not know uh, where your gift ca exactly came from, it's an app you can use to scan uh, the barcode on the gift, and that will locate where it came from. Pretty cool. For now, live in Terre Haute, I'm Abby Kirk, News 10.